Now we can prove that a topos has finite co-limits. Throughout this video, we are assuming to be working in a topos E. Recall, one, the crude monadicity theorem, which is covered in the previous video, when are monadic functors closed under composition. If a functor G is a joint, conservative, A has and G preserves co-equalizers of reflexive pairs, then G is monadic. Recall that a reflexive pair is a parallel pair of morphisms FG with a common section S. Two, a monadic functor creates limits. This is proven in the video entitled Monadic Functors. And three, a split co-equalizer, which is a fork diagram with morphisms S and T such that HF is equal to HG, HS is equal to the identity on Z, SH is equal to GT, and FT is equal to the identity on Y, is an absolute co-equalizer, but all we will need is that it is a co-equalizer. We start with the lemma. If the following is an equalizer diagram of a co-reflexive pair, i.e. there exists a morphism R, such that RF is equal to the identity on X, which is equal to RG, then the following is a pullback. For the proof, let PQ be morphisms such that FP is equal to GQ, then P is equal to RFP is equal to RGQ is equal to Q, since RF and RG are equal to the identity on X. Then by the universal mapping property of the equalizer, there exists this unique morphism H from T to E such that MH is equal to P, which is equal to Q, proving that the square is a pullback. We use this result to prove that the power object functor P is monadic. We have shown that P is a joint and conservative a few videos back. We also have E has finite limits by definition of being a topos, and so the dual category has finite co-limits, in particular co-equalizers. Therefore, by the crude monadicity theorem, it is enough to show P preserves co-equalizers of reflexive pairs. So let the following be an equalizer of a co-reflexive pair in E, i.e. a co-equalizer of a reflexive pair in the dual category of E. Therefore, by the lemma, the following is a pullback square, and thus, by the beck chevalli condition, the following commutes. Also recall that by the beck chevalli condition, PF, there exists F, is equal to the identity on PX. PM, there exists M, is equal to the identity on PE. Therefore, the following diagram is a split co-equalizer, since PM, PF, is equal to PM, PG. This follows from P being a functor, and preserving commuting diagrams. PM, there exists M, is equal to the identity on PE. There exists M, PM, is equal to PF, there exists G. And PF, there exists F, is equal to the identity on PX. And these three equations all come from the beck chevalli condition on the left. Therefore, by three above, P preserves co-equalizers of reflexive pairs, and therefore P is monadic completing the proof. Then as a corollary, we have one, if a topos has J limits, i.e. limits of all diagrams of shape J, then it has J op co-limits. And two, a topos has finite co-limits. For the proof, we have P creates limits in E. So if the limit of P D exists in E, then the limit of D exists in E op and P preserves it, or equivalently, the colimit of D op exists in E, showing that E has all colimits of diagrams of shape J op. Then we have a topos E has finite products and equalizers implies the dual of E has finite products and equalizers. And so E has finite coproducts and coequalizers, since these are dual concepts, giving us E has finite co-limits.